The fourth example is um, very similar to what we did earlier. Um, finding the ratio. Uh, before it was three angles. Now we're going to look at the ratio of three sides. It works the same way. So again, the ratio would be three to four to five. Okay? So here, now this doesn't mean that this is the, the length of the side, okay? Now, it's as if, uh, let's say this side was actually six. The ratio is three, but let's say it's six. Let's say this side is, the length is six. Then what would this length be? It has to be eight, and then this has to be ten, right? Or if this was, let's say, 9, this would have to be 12, and this would have to be 15. So no matter what these sides are, it has to be the same ratio. It has to keep that ratio, meaning if you're going to multiply this number to a certain, um, or multiply a number to this, then that same number has to be multiplied to all three to keep that same ratio. So, again, that number is going to be x. So, here, 3x plus 4x plus 5x. And in this case, we don't know. Um, it's not like angles, the angles of a triangle where we know that all three angles add up to 180. In this case, they have to tell us that the perimeter, because that's, you know, this side plus this side plus that side, is 60. So we add all this up. So here's 9, here's 12. 12x is equal to 60. When you divide the 12, x is equal to 5. So if x is 5, that means if the ratio is 3 to 4 to 5, this, right, the shortest side is going to be 3 times 5, which is 15. And then 4 times 5, which is 20. And 5 times 5, which is 25. So then these three are the actual lengths of the sides. <clears throat> if you add them up, they're going to add up to 60, which is perimeter. And it keeps the same ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. Okay. So that's it for this lesson on ratio. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Educator.com.